Oh man, Dell has done something absolutely incredible. It seems like that they have, get this, listened to reviewers. And in doing so, they have possibly created the perfect Ultrabook. So let's check it out. Privacy.com lets you buy things online using virtual cards that protect your personal information. And they've rolled out a few new product options. So check those out and get $5 to spend on your first purchase when you sign up below. This right here is the all new Dell XPS 13. And let's look at the most interesting part, the, the hinge. Really? They flew us to San Francisco to show us an improved hinge? Yes, in fact. And this new hinge has allowed Dell to fix almost every little problem that I had with the previous XPS 13. So this redesigned hinge is able to take up a lot less space at the top of the keyboard, which has allowed for all this to move up just a tiny bit. Now, that might not seem like a huge deal to most of you, but for people like me that have a bit larger hands, on the old one, I could just never get comfortable here, like just kind of right on the edge, and I couldn't quite get in a natural position. On this one right here though, you have just that, that little bit more room, and I'm able to get super comfortable on it. This extra space has also allowed for the size of the trackpad to be increased ever so slightly, maybe a centimeter or so on each side. If I had to guess, this is probably the exact same part as on the XPS 13 2 and one and having used that device all of last week, I have to say, pretty damn good trackpad. Another bit that has gotten a bit bigger and is easily my favorite change to the XPS 13 compared to the outgoing model is just Look at this 16 by 10 display. Isn't that beautiful? It leaves almost no bezels whatsoever, top or bottom. I absolutely love the trend of laptops going back to taller aspect ratio displays because it just gives you that little bit of additional information when you're scrolling web pages, editing Word documents, or really just doing anything. Because otherwise, like, it's not like the space down here was being utilized before. In addition, Dell has made some changes to the chassis, so this bottom bit of machined aluminum here wraps all the way around the outside. That just adds a bit of stiffness and overall rigidity to device that's always welcome. This redesign also brings looks of the XPS 13 into the same basic design language as the XPS 13 2-in-1. They have changed up the logo to this cool modern thin one. And given how stoked they seem to be about this design, I really hope they apply it to the XPS 15. Like just, just look at this thing. They haven't made any serious changes to, since what? 2015 or something like that? If I had to guess, we'll be seeing something kind of like this and this put together. Although our Dell rep's giving me a look right now. So we'll just get back to the 13. With this redesign, <laughs> Dell has made this device about 6% thinner, but that doesn't mean the new model will be down on performance. We'll be getting six cores on the i7 model, but we'll be getting an upgrade from 14 nanometer to 10, meaning that we get Intel Iris graphics that completely ground pound the older iGPU found in the 14 nanometer model. The drop to 10 nanometers also means we should have slightly better thermals and power consumption, so hopefully we'll see over 10 hours of battery life in real world use. The new XPS 13 will be available January 7th for $1,000. But what if you want that power and 10 hours of battery just isn't enough? Maybe you want 30. Well, first of all, just what are you doing? Plug in your laptop at night. Who needs a battery that goes for like 30 hours besides maybe the military? Anyway, that's apparently what you can get with the new Dell Latitude 9510. It uses the same six core 10 nanometer processor found in the XPS 13 but they use the extra space to cram in an optional 88 watt hour battery. That's one friggin' big battery for a computer that doesn't suck a whole lot of juice. You're probably thinking though, how does like about doubling the battery life or not even give you 200% more away from the brick time? Well, one of the largest power drains is the screen and Dell has equipped the Latitude 9510, yep, <laughs> with a super low power display that sips just two watts of power while still delivering pretty darn good picture. Other cool things include dongle sales crushing IO, including a full-sized HDMI, got 
full-size USB right here. I'm guessing two Thunderbolt ports. Pretty damn good. It also has 5G networking. You can actually see the antennas kind of traced right here around the speakers. It's pretty cool. The Latitude 9510 will be available March 26, although no word on pricing yet. Now, just one little nugget for those of you that are still around. This here is the Dell UltraSharp 27 4K Premier Color Monitor UP2720Q. <laughs> and it has a built-in color calibrator that is so freaking cool. Like, let's see. So you do third button in, press it twice, start calibration. Yes. It is just so freaking cool. <laughs> This allows for someone doing professional color work to schedule their monitor to calibrate itself during, say, lunch hours or after hours to make sure that they can trust the display every single time that they sit down. Just like you can always trust us to have very cringe sponsor segues. Monday.com is the productivity tool that helps manage your work. It's super simple to set up for you and your team, and it's super customizable. You can import any data that you need and share whoever needs to be on the project. You can track progress of projects at a glance with different view options. You can automate tasks so you can focus on getting work done. And it integrates with tons of third-party products. Excel, Slack, Jira, Dropbox. The list goes on and on. So sign up today for an extended 30-day free trial at the link in the video description. So thanks for watching, guys.